we're delighted to be here because we've just launched our campaign for pharmacists to have full read-write access to the full patient healthcare record. And that is a benefit for patients because it means they'll be able to get more joined up care. Um, it's great to be here because anybody who's anybody in NHS IT is in this room today and there's been a great opportunity to meet people. What we actually did, um, a number of us spoke in a seminar outlining the case for pharmacists to have access to records, um, but also where we are now and where we're going. So at the moment we've just had a trial so that there's a, something called a summary care record which has very basic detail about your medicines and we had another pharmacist speaking alongside me explaining how the trial had, had worked. We also um, had another pharmacist here today who has full access to the records of his local surgery and he was explaining to the audience what the benefits of that were. We did a straw poll, everybody except one person in the room agreed with our campaign so we feel it's got off to a fantastic start. So what will this actually mean for patients? Well, at the moment, you go into your pharmacy. If you can remember what drugs you're on, um, the pharmacist might be able to work out a safe product for you to have. In the brave new world where the pharmacist has access to your records, the pharmacist, with your consent as a patient, will be able to access your record, have a full look at your drug history, and then make a very informed decision about what to suggest that you buy. More importantly, that is then written onto the patient record and then the GP will be able to see what's been happening away from the GP surgery. Um, also where this is useful is if you are on holiday, you've forgotten your medicines, you go along to the local pharmacy, the pharmacist can give you an emergency supply. There's a bit of uncertainty about the doses and the names of the drugs, some of them sound familiar, um, sound very similar. So if the pharmacist can access the record, they can see exactly what's happening, um, exactly what the drugs are, and make sure you get it right. And the real winner is where people transfer from hospital back home. There are often problems because the patient is often discharged with new medicines. Um, the pharmacist may not uh, know that's happened, may receive an old prescription from the doctor because the GP hasn't read the notes either, and the patient can continue on the wrong medicine or sometimes they take the new medicines and the old medicines. So if we can see patients when they come out of hospital in the community pharmacy with access to the record of what they've come out with we can make sure that what the patient is doing is spot on and there'll be no room for error and hopefully we'll pre prevent further readmissions to hospital. It's a four stage process, basically we're at stage one. There's just been a pilot on something called the summary care record. And this is the patient record which just details the drugs somebody's on, the major allergies and any major illnesses. The pilot was about pharmacists having access to that. It proved so successful that as a result, we are going to see a rollout of that scheme. So over the next few months, pharmacists around the country will be able to have access to the record and will be able to deal with a lot more queries. So it will be better for patients because they won't be sent backwards and forward to the out of hours doctor or something like that. So we've only got agreement for stage one so far. We think the next stage, stage two, is where extra bits of information are added to the summary care record. The best place to start would be with a discharge summary from the hospital. And this is because that's where mistakes so often happen. People are prescribed new drugs in hospital, very often that isn't picked up by the GP. So if pharmacists had access to the discharge summary, they could have a chat to the patient when they came in, make sure everything was spot on, make sure they were taking the right new medicines and they'd stop taking the wrong old medicines. Stage three is where pharmacists will be able to write notes to the fuller patient record. So that's the full records that the GP has about you. So if you go into a pharmacy and the pharmacist makes an intervention, um, suggests a course of action, the pharmacist can note this and then when the GP sees the notes, he will be able to decide if there's any further action to be taken. Again, it's about a more joined up um, solution 
for patients, putting patients at the centre of what goes on. And all of this is with the permission of the patient. There seems to be some momentum behind this, so we hope that stage four could be around 2018 or something like that. And stage four would mean pharmacists would have full read and write access to the full patient record. So that means everything about the patient is recorded and all health professionals have a greater idea what's going on, improves medicines use, reduces medicines wastage, what's not to like.